Brothers and sisters, we're here at Olive Grove Missionary Baptist Church for our weekly Bible study lesson. And tonight we're going to be dealing with how to fight oppression and oppression. Um, so we'll be coming out of the book of Acts 16, verses 25 through 34. Amen. And so we're going to go into a word of prayer at this time. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for bringing thank us out God. to your house thank this you. evening. Thank and you. we just thank you, Lord, for keeping us, Lord. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we're asking, Lord, that you open up our understanding, Lord, yes, that Father. we may learn a little bit more about how you want us to live in this mm -hmm. life and how yes. we are to face, in, face things and matters of this life. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. 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 So on this evening, we're not trying to give you clinical terms or, 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 or trying to be a psychiatrist uh, or, or, or try to be uh, someone. We're just here just to, to help counsel you in spiritual matters. Um, so how to fight depression and oppression in the season that, that we are in with the COVID-19. Uh, many people can't do like they used to do, and they are pressed about either the election or they are pressed about the finances, or maybe they have lost a, a loved one, yeah. or, or, or maybe they have lost their job, or, or something that's just uh, uh, seemingly to happen to depress you. And so we're here just to bring light on what causes that maybe or or what each each thing means. So we're going to go and give you an overview of, of what depression is. Yeah, depression is a mood disorder that causes a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest. Also called major depressive disorder or clinical depression. It affects how you feel, think, and behave and can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems. To repress is to keep under control, to keep down or to suppress. And to suppress is to put an end to the activities of a person, body, or person. To oppress is to burden with cruel and unjust restraints, subject to burdensome or harsh exercise of authority. Now, in, in all of these, uh, we, we, we've, we've had to deal with these three emotions or all of these emotions at one time or another in our, in our uh, life, which may cause us health problems or mental problems or, or, or cause us some type of stress or or cause us to be a certain way in life, but we all have to deal with these issues, uh, yeah. oppression and, and oppression. Uh, we all have to, we all repress certain memories mm -hmm. and suppress certain memories that, right. that we can't control, but they, they come out in certain situations mm -hmm. and which cause you to be oppressed, which can cause, will cause you to be depressed, which can cause you to be oppressed <laughs> and, or feel oppressed. Mm -hmm. And so we are just here to help you uh, with these things that help deal with these matters and show you how in the scripture, in the book of Acts uh, 16 and 25, how Paul dealt with their situation when they was thrown into prison. They was beaten. Uh, um, they, was, they was locked up. They were shackled. And, and so uh, they was in a situation which could have caused them to be depressed about right. the situation. Right. And, and truly they was oppressed because they was the people was trying to stop them from preaching the word of God or, or stop them to, from doing what God had them to do. And so we're going to go right on into Acts 16 and 25 at this time. And it reads, And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. This is one of the key things that, that can help us is to stay uh, uh, prayed up Amen. and stay Amen. singing Amen. hymns unto ourselves. Amen. And, and, and uh, the, to, to bring your spirit up, to yeah. know that even though you've been burdened down, even though Paul and Silas was thrown and cast into prison and, and they was beaten and, 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 and there was no hope there, there but there wasn't a despair there, right. uh, but there was Amen. no, 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 no general hope. Uh, and, and they could have become depressed or angry. Right. Right. Or mad because God had allowed certain things to happen. And truly, we're in a season to where people are angry and upset because God allowed certain things to happen. The church closed or, or they can't worship the way they used to worship. They can't go to work the way they used to go to work or their loved ones had died. Or, or the loved ones are sick and in the hospital. And, some, and in some cases, some people just don't 
uh, have any issues. They just don't like being suppressed right. or, 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 or locked down. Uh, they right. feel locked down or they feel like they can't go out and do what they used or to do. Or not allowed to do what they wanted. And, and they fight and they are angry. But Paul and Silas was locked in the prison yeah. and thrown in the prison after they had been beaten and shackled. Right. They began to praise God. Yeah. And the word of God says Same that praises. that that they sung praises and the prisoners heard them. Right. So they could have been angry and fussing and right. cussing and, and <laughs> mad and, and just talking to junk about why they in here and right. just like some some of us do sometimes, why are we sick or or why I can't go to work or why why I gotta wear a mask or or or, or you know, whatever the issue is, we just fussing and bickering about our situation yeah. and, and, and we become oppressed or we come, become depression right. comes upon our life because we are angry or upset because of where we are, because we've been here too long yeah. and we want things to move out yeah. of the way. But Paul and Silas uh, uh, prayed and they, they, they sung hymns Good and example. they, they inspired Good one example. another yeah. to, to, to stay, uh, yeah. uh, uh, filled up with, with God's spirit on the inside. It's so praises. it's, it's something about praise that ah. releases us. Right. And we have a few scriptures here that, uh, Sister White, uh, Reverend White is going to read for us to help us understand about praise. Zephaniah, the third chapter, 17 verse read, the Lord thy God. In the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. With singing. So we got to know that when we sing, God comes. Ooh, he's in the midst. And he's in the midst of it. And mighty. And, and, and he's mighty and he will save you. Yeah. We know we're taking these scriptures out of context here. But we want you to have an understanding that there's something about praise. Yeah. There's something about worship right, and, and, right. and worshiping God right. in the right spirit, in right. the right mindset right. Um, that will bring you up out of depression. Even right. though you've been oppressed right. and, and even though you might have things that have happened to you in your life that you have re repressed and suppressed in your life, those memories, those right. bad times that have happened in your life, but right. that they, they seem to bubble up sometimes yeah. uh, and cause you a problem or conflict in your life that you're living now. But if we will give God the praise and the honor and place him in our life where he needs to be at. Because he's there. He's he, in the midst. He's always there. No matter where you're at, whether you're locked up or whether you, you, you can't move or, right. or whether you're being uh, oppressed and pushed down, God is still there with he's you. Still there in the midst. He's still there with you. Go ahead and read. John 4 and 24 said, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Ephesians 5 and 19 read, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart this, to the Lord. And this is what, Amen. these are two verses, John 4 and 24 and Ephesians 5 and 19 that can help you. You must worship him in spirit and in truth, in the right spirit. Now we've been preaching about this thing uh, for the last two Sundays, being in the right spirit mm -hmm. and worshiping him in the spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. We got to watch our spirits and how we linger in our depression. Ooh, now, right. some depressions are, are chemical because of chemical uh, mm -hmm. uh, imbalances. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not trying to, 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 to tell you how to fix that. You have to go to a doctor mm -hmm. to get that diagnosed. That, but we understand that some depressions come from a spiritual standpoint. Mm -hmm. And we're not talking about the chemical imbalances in depression. We're talking about the spiritual imbalance in depression mm -hmm. to where God, you can help yourself out of that right. by right. praising God, right. by giving him the worship, right. by understanding that this situation isn't here to, to it may be here to destroy you, but God is here Doesn't to raise you up to out of it. And so if, if, if what we have to do is just like Paul is saying here in Ephesians 5 and 19, speaking to yourself, you must speak and make declarations over your life. Mm -hmm. uh, you must sing spiritual songs, mm -hmm. huh? spiritual songs. Not, not, not those songs we hear solid gold and, and, and those worldly type songs that we, we go way back and we sing and remember yeah, 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 the good yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. But we must sing spiritual songs yeah. to connect us with God Ooh, amen. Uh, and make melodies amen. in our hearts to the Lord because he's the Lord of our salvation. He's our deliverer. He is the strength of our lives. <laughs> and he will take us out of what yes, we're in. We, we might not physically can move. 
But spirit in the spirit in realm the spirit. is where it counts. But this is where Paul is. It. Paul and Silas is. Yeah. He's there in the spiritual spirit, realm. Yeah. They they've been locked up. They in prison. Yeah. But they in the spiritual realm. They right. connect with God. Amen. And so Colossians three and sixteen says, "Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your." To the Lord. To the Lord. And there's a reason for it's this. There's a this reason why end. Paul wrote these. Right. And there's a reason why I'm encouraging you to praise God, yeah. to, to, to stir up the spirit, the yeah. gift that is on yeah. the inside yeah. of you. You got to you got to praise. You got to read the word. Yeah. You got to pray to God. Uh, uh, he will lift you up in your spirit yes, to bear that which you are facing yes, with that won't cause you to fall in depression. Now, by them doing this. And by them singing praises, yeah. the 26th verse of, of Acts 16 says, And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were open, and everyone's bands were loose. And the keeper of the prison awakened out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice saying, do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Now, Ooh. we're going to stop right there at verse, at, at, at verse 28. Now, we do understand that they was praising the Lord. Yeah. And the prisoners could hear it. Right. And so they was getting some type of joy. Right. And the, the Bible said that was a great earthquake. Yeah. And it shook everything loose. And the yeah. doors of the prison was let open. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the keeper wanted to kill himself because all the prisoners was escaped. So he knew that when his masters would come back and the prisoners had done an escape, that they was going to kill him. Right. And so, yeah. but Paul yelled out, don't hurt yourself. Right. Don't hurt yourself. Right. When you're in depression, you, 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 sometimes you want to kill yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want things that, to happen mm -hmm. and, and you want so, such relief. And the enemy, the enemy is putting these thoughts in your head. Yeah. Yeah. But we must praise yeah. God yeah. that the doors of our hearts and our minds sets will be open. Amen. Huh? Amen. That God can set us free in the spirit realm. Yeah. It, it, one of the crucial things we have to remember that Paul and Silas didn't get up and run out. It didn't say any other other prisons got up and run out. Why? Because they were lifted up in the spirit. They was praising and singing songs unto themselves and they had got lifted up in the spirit and God made a move and to set them free. Right. He opened up all the doors. But Paul was conscious enough to know that somebody else was in distress. Yeah. And he yeah. told them, don't fear. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't gone anywhere. Yeah. And by them doing so, sometimes we need to stay where we are in order to help somebody mm -hmm. else. Even though it may be a, a depressive moment, That's but we right. can praise God to help us in the spirit realm to lift our spirits. And, and when God send another soul by that needs more help than what yeah. we have, than what we yeah. need, uh, we can help them. We be in the yeah. right mindsets to Ooh. help them. But only praise and prayer and meditation can do it. Mm -hmm. You can't do it just crying about where you're at. Right, right. Or no fussing about where, you know, fuss, yeah, pity parties, fussing about where you're at. We got to get our mindset on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Get our mindset on the Lord. We're going to go ahead on the read. 29, then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do that you be saved? Because they didn't run. Now they have an opportunity to save somebody. Yeah. They in jail. He's the jailer. He's the one that's keeping them in there. Right, right. But they have an opportunity to save, to save the jailer. Right. The jailer didn't want to save them. Right. But he knew they were religious men simply mm -hmm. because he could hear them in that singing. Right. He could hear them in that praise right, of God. Right. And so, and so a miracle a, a happened. Miracle happened. <laughs> and the door swung open. Ooh. But nobody left. And they stayed. Right. So that now they have an opportunity to save the devil. Right. Uh, many a time we we preach these these scriptures, mm -hmm. these very scriptures right mm -hmm. here. But there's always a new revelation that God gives yeah. us. Uh, and in our understanding that, that sometimes we're in no bad places of depressions in our lives. Right. But we must understand that the rest of these scriptures here in, in, in Acts 16, it tells us that the jealous 
clean their wounds. He washed them up. And we, we just going to do an over a recap an overview because of time. He washed them up. And he took them to their house. And they 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 say his whole house was saved. Yeah, yeah. Two prisoners. Yeah. That was beaten. Right. right. Saved the jailer, which kept them in the jail. Mm -hmm. Saved him and his whole house. Yeah. Because of what they was doing while they was in the jail. Mm -hmm. It's so crucial for us to understand that mm -hmm. while we're in this season season right. of COVID nineteen. Right. It is our time to praise and get closer to God Amen. that folks can, and men and women can see right. our good works. They can see right. our praise. They can hear our right. praise right. and that they can find some hope in this life that we're Amen. in. We're in a bad spot Amen. Amen. with this virus. Whether we get the vaccine or not, it's still 200 and some thousand folks right. don't die. Still, people are, are, are readily and steadily going into the hospital, going on the ventilator machine, or, or having other issues, or, or they are getting very sick from their underlying health issues. Mm -hmm. Truly, we need to be praising God, not fussing and fighting right. still. Right. Not fussing. Let the world fuss and fight. We need to praise God <laughs> and Amen. give him the blessing because he's kept yeah, us, give him the through, glory he's kept us through this season. And some of our loved ones have passed on and gone on to be with him. But but he's kept us for whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah. He's kept yeah. us because of his will. Yeah. So we need to praise and give God all the thanks and the glory. Yeah. And so so with that said, we're going to move to, to yeah. another great passage of scriptures here. And that's some of the scriptures that are here in Psalms 34. Amen. It reads, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. For my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I besought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from of all, all my, my fears. fears. We all have fears in life. Oh, yeah. But we don't have to let yeah. those fears turn into depression. That's right. Which That's which right. after That's they turn into depression, they they can't oppress you. Right. And so we 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 have to understand that God is good. And 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 in the eighth verse, I want to go ahead and read the eighth verse. Oh, taste uh -huh. and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in Him. Mm -hmm. Oh, fill the Lord, ye His saints, for there is no want to them that fear that Him. Fear Him. Fear Him. And so, and so Not the world, but if, fear Him. If we fear Him, we give Him the praise that oh, we ought to. We reverence Him. Huh? Yeah. That's yeah. what Paul and Silas yeah. done in Acts yeah. sixteen. They they gave him the reference why they was locked up, yeah. why they they couldn't move, and they was bound down, they was oppressed, yeah. depressed, suppressed, repressed. <laughs> there was all those words in the one. They was, but they gave God the praise, and they Lord. ended up saving someone. Yeah. Have we saved anybody? Have we helped anybody in this season that we have been that our government or our nation have been in in these last twelve months? Have have we witnessed to somebody the glory of I'm God? Have I'm we talked to somebody and lifted somebody up out of their I'm oppression or depression? Yeah. Or or have we been just fussing the whole time? about the election, about COVID-19, about our finances, about our health, or about death that is all around us. Have we been fussing or have we been trying to lift somebody up, up out of what they are in? We're going to go on to uh, Psalms 34 and 17. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and deliver them out of all their troubles. So we, we don't have to be depressed, but all we have to do is just hold on. And God will lift Amen. us up out of our Amen. troubles. Go ahead and read. Amen. The Lord is nigh to them that are of a broken heart. I love that. Mm -hmm. And save us such as be of a contrite spirit. Now, that's for the ones save that have, have, have lost their loved ones through the COVID-19 or, 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 or suffering with it or have lost in their finances. God is nigh thee. Yes, he you have to stir up the That's gift that the is word. inside of you, the Holy Spirit that yeah. is inside of you, and, and connect with God Amen. to have faith, to have that belief, right. to have that, that 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 God might, his spirit can come inside of you and push out Ooh. that depression spirit right. and push out that oppression, push out all those bad and evil and thoughts restore your joy. and restore your joy Ooh. that you can, you, you can know that God has you Amen. in his hand. Go ahead Amen. and pray. Amen. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. Now, 
I don't understand how people can sit around and well, think they don't have to go it. through anything. Yeah, yeah. Many. The word said many are the <laughs> afflictions. That means we go through one thing after another. <laughs> but then we don't have to be depressed about right, it. Right, Such is life. Right, right. Life comes and it goes yeah. and, it, and, and it, 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 it moves. Whether you realize it or not, right. life is steadily moving. Right. You're steadily getting older and things are happening. But we got to maintain that hope that the Lord will deliver us. And the only time we're going to maintain it, we got to keep that connection strong. Ooh, and the right. way we keep that connection down through prayer and faith and, and, and through praise Amen. and worship of God. Amen. Amen. That's how we keep that connection strong. Amen. We have to read the word of God. Amen. We have Meditate. to live the word of God. Oh, God. And we yeah. have to believe the yeah. word of God. Yeah. And we have to praise God right. because of all that he has done right. in our life. Right. Now we're gonna go right on to the to the uh to the to the twenty second verse in the thirty fourth psalm. Yeah, it reads, "The Lord redeemeth the soul of His servants, and none of them that trust in Him shall be desolate." This is what happened to Paul and Simon. Right, right. They probably was depressed, and they they didn't know what the outcome was gonna be, but they began to praise sure God. Sure, their mind was troubled when all of that was going on, and, and they praised Him, and and, and they saved the jail. And so we then we went on the 34 songs and, and he's letting us know that 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 he will redeem the serve the, the soul of his servant yeah. and none of them shall that trust him shall be desolate. So we don't have to live in depression yeah. or oppression. This is how we fight. This is only yeah. this is only yeah. praise is only one thing, one one thing of, of the fight right. that we can battle against the enemy. Right, right, right. When we praise him. Right. When we're at our lowest point, Woo. we can praise God, God and he'll see anyway. us through. Yeah. So I hope yeah. our lesson was helpful to you on this evening, uh, how to fight against depression and oppression. Right. Right. So at this time, we're going to have a word of prayer by Reverend White and we're going to close out. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we first want to thank you, God, for another Wednesday you've allowed us to see. God, we thank you for new mercy today. Yeah. And God, we thank you, God, that we are able to keep hope alive, God, yeah. in the midst of all that's going on around us. God, we thank you for your word, God, that reminding us today, God, to keep the praises going forth, God, to lift them up unto your holy name, God, yes, to Lord. let praise continue to be in our mouth, God, to bless you at all times, God, yeah. that we know many afflictions are going to come our way, God, but we keep hoping, God, and we know and believe that you're going to deliver us out of them all. Yes. God, we thank you for that hope on today, for God is your hope, God, that we are building our faith, God, on you, God. Our yeah. hope is on you, your righteousness, oh God, nothing else. For God, we know that this world will pass us, pass us God. God, we know it will fail us, God, because all things will pass away, yeah. but God, we know that what we do for you, God, that our praise and our worship, God, that our steadfastness, God, in your word, God, and in your way, God, will last. That, God, you see us, God, and you will not leave us nor forsake us. And, God, we thank you that you're always now, oh, God. Yeah. You're always in the midst, God. Whatever comes our way, God, you're right there. God, whatever comes to destroy us, God, you're right there. God, whatever come up against our mind, God, and against our household, in our children, God, in our marriages. Yes. God, you are right there. Yes. God, you are always in the midst, God. You are always making ways out of no ways. And God, we thank you, God, thank for you. our hope, God, says that we will prevail, God. Our faith, God, says we will overcome. Yes. God, our faith says victory is ours, God, and we believe that on today. God, we lift up the man servant of yes. this house, God. Continue to strengthen him, God. Continue to give him a fresh word for a now season that we're living in. God, we lift up all pastors, God, and all leaders yes, throughout Lord. the land, God, for you are continuing, God, to feed us what we need day by day. And God, we're thankful for that daily bread. And God, we continue to lift up all that are unsaved on this broadcast, Lord, yes, God. Lord. Those that have tuned in and God, yes. those that have become deaf, God, to your word. God, we know that there is your desire that we all be saved. And so, God, we lean and depend on you, God, to save our loved ones, God, to bring them in, God. Turn them around, oh God. Help them to see who you are, God. Reveal yourself to them, the God, that they would say, what must I do to be saved? For truly, I believe there is a God yes. and that he loves me unconditionally. And God, we thank you, God, for those you getting ready to break the yokes, God, in generations.
generational curses. Yes. God, we thank you yes, in advance, God, for what yes, you're getting Lord. ready to do. For God, you're getting ready to do a new thing in this season of a pandemic. Yes. And we're thankful for it, God. And we pray all yes, these Lord. things in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Amen. Thank you. Well, another powerful prayer of thank our Reverend God. wife. And we thank God for her on this evening. Um, so we, 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 we leave you with this. Be encouraged Amen. and seek your healing from depression and oppression. Amen. And God will meet you there. Um, so go in the peace of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ, until we meet again. God bless. I believe in the Father. Jehovah. I believe in the Son. Jesus Christ. I believe. you and me and on the third